Hey, my name is Jason. I'm a registered sleep disorders technician, and I wanted to talk a little bit about an auto titrating CPAP unit uh, versus a regular standard unit set on one static pressure uh, for home use. Uh, a lot of patients, when they come in to be reevaluated to see if they're on the right pressure, we'll send them home with a, a five day trial of an auto, auto titrating CPAP. So we would start it off at the lowest pressure of five centimeters of water pressure with a range of going up to 20. Um, during this time, uh, through their five nights, they'll every night turn on the machine, it'll start at five. Um, based on their breathing, if, if they're having troubles and it looks like they're <coughs> having sleep apnea, hypopneas, upper airway resistance, this is going to ramp up and increase and increase based on their need. Uh, when it reaches a spot where it looks like it's good, it kind of hangs around, it, you know, moves around still a little bit trying to fine tune it. Um, if someone goes into REM and things get much worse, their sleep disorder breathing increases, it'll again ramp up for that uh, to take care of that. <clears throat> the idea being that we get this back in five days and we can download all the data and see exactly what pressure they need to be on so the doctor can prescribe a change for their machine. Well, patients ask, hey, why can't I, I be on this uh, all the time? You know, what, you know, are you guys trying to squeeze more money out of me? And the answer is yes. I'm kidding, the answer is no. What we're trying to do, um, regardless is get a pressure that's going to work for you uh, day in and day out. So with a static pressure we know um, in, the, in the lab we get you on your back and we hope to see REM. This is most likely going to be your absolute worst case scenario. So we see you on your back, we see you in REM, you're at 10 centimeters of water pressure, everything looks great, we know that that's a, a great pressure for you and that's what you're on. You're on 10, it's static, it never changes, never moves. Um, with uh, an adjustable CPAP machine or a uh, auto titrating, they call them, um, it usually has a range. Well, when I send people home for the diagnostic test, we have it very open ended at 5 and 20 because we don't really know where it's going to be for you. <clears throat> um, say the appropriate pressure for this person is 14. Well, from 5 as it ratchets up to 14 during the night, it's got to go through all those steps and it takes a while to get there. Meanwhile, you're still having sleep disorder breathing, so it's not really going to do you much good. So if you were to use one of these for home use, you still need to have a proper study. You need to know <clears throat> that you know on your back, um, say on your back in non-REM, I'm sorry, let's say on your side in non-REM, which is probably going to be the least severe of your events, possibly. Um, say you only need eight centimeters of water pressure, but if you roll to your back, you need uh, a higher pressure. When you're in REM on your back, you need, say you need the, the uh, 16. So you have this eight uh, centimeter water pressure difference between the eight on your side in non-REM and supine REM on your back. Well, if someone is really intolerant to the pressure of CPAP, <clears throat> like hey, you know, I, can't, I can't take that higher pressure when I'm awake, you know, I can't fall asleep with it, uh, it wakes me up, but yet this person still needs it in REM on their back, then you're going to want one of these machines because uh, during most of the time when you're not in REM it's going to stay lower, but once you enter REM it'll, it'll try to creep up. And it's better than nothing if it's, you know, even though it's going to take a little time to react to get there, it's better than nothing. Um, so that's really the difference between the two. Um, the one's not better than the other, it's just that people think that uh, one that's going to titrate on its own is like some kind of a, a magic pill that's, you know, <laughs> It's 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 not that it's not that way. Uh, you still need to have a, a have it have the range shrunk up so it's usually you know between four centimeters of water pressure of what <clears throat> what you can get away with because it doesn't really react all that fast. It takes a while. So uh, any questions? Email me. Any rants? Email me. Uh, that's it. FreeCPAPAdvice.com um, or email me at freecpapadvice at gmail.com. Again, thank you. I appreciate you visiting.